Hey, what up? It's King Cash, and you're tuned into the Block Report. Kicks, and it's your boy Half, and we got the man of the hour, Mr. Frontline himself, King Cash. What up, everybody? It's King Cash. Program time. One hundred. I was in the county running all faith. Frontline with a shank, fighting all day. Saw my son through the glass, made my heart break. Hot meds in my soda for the heartache. Yeah. In the county running all fake Everywhere I go, everywhere I be I'm always in the middle of the controversy Pussies always yapping that they gonna murk me Told your wife keep her pussy so she dropped to her knees Man, these fools like bitches Man, these fools like bitches Man, these fools like bitches These fools oh, no, like bitches perfect. Why they always perfect. in my business? Yeah. Okay, no yeah, but you bitches ain't did shit you Just like a female, the way that you yap Beat the fuck out you marks if you Where you're from and uh, what you do? I'm King Cash. I'm 32 years old. I'm from Ballin Park, California, and I rap and I also engineer. That's right. So, when did you, when did you uh, get that? When did you know that you had the knack to flow? When did you know that you had the gift to to the gift? to yeah. spit, man? Like, when man. did it come to you? What at what Probably age? Like... And when when did you start? You know, like flowing. Yeah, I started. Grade, I man. started writing in like tenth grade, bro. Like, like, and it really started off like as a form of expression. You feel me? It wasn't right. like I'm trying to be this, this, and I like I love music at that point, but I didn't know how to structure a sixteen, how to do none of that shit. I was just writing rhymes to kind of release. You feel me? Right. But it turned into like that led on to meeting the homie from fucking linking up with my cousin first. I linked up with my cousin, and then. He rented like a studio one time, just a random studio, and that's the first time I ever heard myself. And then he rented one in Long Beach. And after that, we we linked with Ray, with his because okay. of his little brother, and we linked with Ray from fucking uh, Westlife. Shout out Ray. Shout yeah, out shout out to homie Ray, Ray from that? Westlife. You know what I mean? I've been fucking with him for over ten years. That's my boy. He's the one that showed me how to engineer and everything. You know what I mean? They uh, why are homies filled with uh, so much hate? Do you find that Rasa? Does do you feel that Rasa backs you up enough in in? In supporting you as far as like you know your music, music your do you feel, feel like they feel you in, in a sense, or yeah, do you yeah. feel like you know there's not there's not enough like there's just, not enough it's love? Just your more, it's just more your area. It's just for some reason people in your area they come from the same area right. you come from. So and they're not doing that, nothing. You feel me? So you ever heard of a prophet in his own city? Prophet's nothing. Yeah. Do you feel like your own? You still like? Yeah, I feel like I get more love everywhere else than I than I do in my own okay, city. Yeah, I felt. I got to touch on that one. Yeah. Actually, I, I seen it myself. You know, I, as myself being an artist and going through, you know, being an artist and artist manager, and then going through everything I've been through, I, I learned that you know a lot of people aren't going to support you in your city, not your friends, nobody. But when they start seeing you popping, then all of a sudden, hey, what's up, homie? Yeah, that's bro. the homie. Hey, that's up? been yeah. the homie. <laughs> yeah. My boy, what's up? Yeah, it goes yeah. like that. Hell yeah. Yeah, all of a sudden, it's just, you see fake love. You see that fake yeah. love. Yeah. For sure, bro. Like, and and I'm good with that. But see, like, I'm I'm not motivated by the good or the bad. You feel me? I'm not gonna allow that to control my my love for this or my passion for this. Cause then that's like, oh, you post something or you're trying to do something and they don't fuck with it, and you're all of a sudden you're drained. You're just a uh, you're just chasing that high on yeah. the likes and all that bullshit. You're doing it for the wrong reasons, bro. You know what I'm saying? You gotta love it first and foremost. Anything I put out, I love that shit. I don't care what anybody think about it. That's right. Everybody else that fuck with it, you know what I'm saying? The real it's more power to it. Yeah, right. exactly. I'm not seeking approval, you feel me? I'm just yeah. doing me. I'm I'm leaving my mark and I'm just I'm gonna continue on the journey that I'm on. I'm trying I, I understand it's just laying one brick at a time. I'm trying. Most people get discouraged because they focus on the end price, you know what I mean? I noticed that you you drop track after track after track and it doesn't discourage you. Your your views is on on YouTube. They're like growing, they're organically growing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it feels good to just really be doing it on my own. Like, I hit a million by myself. It wasn't with no feature, it wasn't with nothing, nothing like that. So that felt good. Yeah. I do that shit myself. And then, you know, we're just building. I understand that people want to jump in a business right away and want to be selling out, bro. Like, it don't work. You ain't going to, you ain't going <laughs> to, you can say that you plant the seeds. 
How you gonna right. eat the same day you plant the seed? Like, that shit don't work like, like that. Like, man, I'm, I'm gonna make a so, million dollars today. People wanna skip the process, bro. Like, no. And just jump right there, yeah. right? To me, the process is the right. funnest part because that's that's where all the hunger, that's where everything's at. Because when you get it, it's right. like. That's the you steps that I mean? you're taking. The steps, it's not, it's not, you're not, you're not taking no elevator to the top. You're taking the, the steps. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, like just I'm not gonna allow no, but like for instance, he was saying like Chicano rap. Like yeah, I'm not gonna yeah. allow you to put that label on right. me. You know what I'm saying? I'm so much more than that. I'll drop a whole motherfucking R and B tape before I. You know, <laughs> you get what I'm saying though. I'm not gonna allow you to just title me. I'm not. I'm not gonna allow you to put your expectations on me nor title yeah. me. I'm not gonna allow that. I'm gonna. I'm gonna live up to my expect. I'm just gonna do this as best as I can. You know what I'm saying? With no expectations and no, I'm just gonna grind as hard as I can every single day and give my best and leave it out there like that. And then my legacy is gonna, it'll start to collect itself as it's as it's doing right now. Like everyone's like, oh, you go back and watch. Like I don't, once I put some shit out, I'm just I'm off it. Y'all run it up. You know what I mean? I'm good. That was done. You know what I mean? Yeah, but because I left my whole soul in that shit in the, in making it. You know what I mean? Sheriff's homicide detectives are seeking the public's assistance in locating the 29-year-old male, Hispanic suspect who is known to frequent the West Covina and Baldwin Park areas. He is a known gang member. He stands six foot four inches tall. He weighs 220 pounds. He has multiple tattoos on his face, head, body, and goes by the moniker King Cash. What was the turning point for you, Cash? Like, at what point did gangbang get pushed to the side? Or not pushed to the side, but you switched your focus mm -hmm. and decided to go for something else. You know, it wasn't really ever like, I wasn't really in the streets just like gang banging was my focus. You feel me? It was always just getting money and hustling, you know what I'm saying? And then I started doing this. Honestly, shout out to Buns because he's one of the first ones that believed in me and started investing money into my music, you know what I'm saying? Get, putting me on different shows, putting me on big ass shows like San Diego, opening up for big ass artists like fucking. I actually opened up for some big ass artists, you know what I mean? And, uh, Basically, like, you know, we was grinding in the street, bro, and, and just seeing all my peers and, and, and everybody fucking catching life sentences for either murders, drugs, you know what I mean? Yeah. Different shit like that, like, fucking had to switch it up. Basically, the turning point for me was having a kid, you feel me? Okay. So I had to, like, change that shit up because I ain't going to be, like, I can't be out there selling dope. I can't be out there risking all that. I got a lot on my plate, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if I ain't here to provide that, who's going right. to, you know what I mean? That's gonna, yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm not going to neglect that for that. And I'm, I feel like, you know what I mean? It ain't like I'm just abandoning the block. You know what I'm saying? I'm already like, I've been through everything you can motherfucking go through in this shit. Besides yeah. die or get life, you feel me? So, and it's like, I'm not pretending to be nothing I ain't. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I, don't, I ain't trying to come out here and feel like I'm killer. Chicanos, Latinos, Hispanics, whatever you want to call it, that use the N word in their music. Where do you stand on that? Like, do you fuck with it? Because there's a lot of cool cats that we fuck with that use it. It just depends where you come from. You know what I'm saying? Like, all the homies in Watts, Compton, South Central, like, they speak like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's their, that's their, that's, they're in jail doing that too. You know what I'm saying? True. Like, that's shout out like, Chapo out in yeah, Compton. Yeah, yeah. Compton. Shout out to the homie Chapo, you know what I mean? But, um, it's basically that's that's part of their culture, you know what I mean? Like that that's Mexicans in that area. That's just what they do, bro. And I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and argue with them, you know what I mean? They, I, I I don't say it personally, like like I don't rap it. I won't rap it neither. Yeah. Um, but as far as them from that area, that's cool. But like when you get to like the Valles and different areas, that that ain't they. Ain't, it's just like a lot of youngsters are using it now, though. You know what I mean? Like, it's common. I, I it's really common. It's common. Yeah, it's, it's, it's common. Like, it's common. I don't know, you can't, what are you going to do, knock everybody coming up with it, you know what I'm saying, I can't. <laughs> yeah, to yeah, me, yeah, it's more how you that. conduct yourself as a man, bro, right. you know what I'm saying, because you can have this homie that's all homes, everything, and yeah. just muy acá, and this, this, and that, but he's not, how he's conducting himself ain't up to par, bro, it's really how you're conducting yourself as a man, you know what I'm saying, that's what's really representing the culture and the race, you know what I'm saying, a word is a word, you feel me, depending on the area and the slang, man, you go to Texas, you go to different parts, right. it's like, it is what it is, we got to be open to different things, we can't just be like, oh, because I grew up like this, that's right, or this is how it got to be, just is it, the world's got different strokes, it's 31 flavors, man, <laughs> it's 31 true, it's flavors, true. man, you know what I'm saying, no, it's true, because even if you take rappers like Cap G out in Atlanta, he dropped that Southside mixtape and he was wearing a mariachi suit, you know, in the projects, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, I understand that part.
I've actually, I've actually changed my diet, bro. I'm actually been eating organic, sipping nothing but al alkaline water. I put down the beer. I ain't been fucking with the drugs. You feel me? That's right. Change is good, bro. Yeah, change is good. it's good for the mind, bro. Like it was just, I was just uh, struggling with depression. I know I ain't the only one. Like a lot of people struggle the ups and downs of that, but it's just like what you're consuming. We don't know all these chemicals that are in this food. You yeah. feel me? So that shit's. It's affecting your mind, it's affecting your body, and your overall, yeah, and then that's affecting every every other aspect in your life, your, whether it be your performance on your work, your grinding, your, your ability to think and create, or and basically your motivation too, though, you know what I'm saying, like, that shit affects, like, to me at least, like, I wasn't feeling, I, I, I need that kick, like, I wasn't feeling inspired, or I felt like certain shit that I would feel good about before, it wasn't, it was, it's just a combination of all the chemicals, the drugs, and everything else, you know what I mean, it ain't, it ain't just one thing in particular. Why do you think it's such a big issue with us and Hispanics? We can't get past the gang stuff and work with other people from rival neighborhoods. Like you take Suge Knight, who was a blood, right? Snoop Signed uh, Snoop and Corrupt. How come like per se a Norteño with a Sureño? Why can't we move past that? Man, that's just, that gets deep, bro. It's just politics for sure. It's just to stop with one word. Politics, man. It's just, just like you think we'll ever get past that. Hopefully, I. I mean, I see a lot of like, like I got Norteños and shit commenting on my shit. You know what I'm saying? Talking about like, you know, this this song hard as fuck. Frontline, like I relate to that shit. Shout out, I've been busted with a lot of solid ass Southsiders, and you know what I mean. This, this, and that, and there's a lot of mutual respect and shit going on, and a lot of things are changing and shit in the in the prison system and that shit too. You know what I mean? So I I could just hope for the best in a. In a future you know to improve more to what from where we started with all this gang shit to where we're at there's a lot of don't get me wrong the streets are still the streets it's still fucking right. you know i mean trauma yeah. in the streets but it's a, at least the mind state starting to go it's different places you got you got norteños and, and sureños not beefing on the yard and shit you know you what think mean? you could work with a norteño maybe in the future on on a track as just I, I, I'm not in a position to speak about that right now or it's just like it's too early in, in oh. it's too early in the process of that right now that's it's gonna ruffle a lot of feathers right now you know what I'm saying on both sides True, I know. you know I what I mean it. it's not no disrespect it's just that's the reality of things you know? I heard too that, uh, that you play basketball yeah I hope I and, and I play basketball too yeah, what position do you play? Which, in which sport? in uh, basketball basketball and shooting guard Oh, that's right, that's right. Yo. No, I like basketball. I don't know about no positions. I play on the street. Yeah, hell yeah. No, I, hoop, <laughs> I hooped in prison too and in the county. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's right, that's right. Hell yeah. So you play ball? You play a ball a lot or you just, you just play a... Uh... Like a ball. Yeah, okay, for okay. sure. Yeah. yeah, that's right. He got the hype for it. That's for yeah, sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> How tall are you? I'm like 6'4". Six, 6'4"? Four. Six, four? Yeah. And you town everybody over. <laughs> yeah, I got... But I could dribble like a guard too though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I dribble like a guard or guard's a center. You feel me? So... And it's... Center got to run with me. You feel me? I know that's why there's a lot of discipline. I see that with you and your music and what you do, what you're doing. You're disciplined in what you it's want. It's just anything, anything you want to be successful in, you got to put that that discipline in. You got to put those hours in that commitment. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna like. You're not gonna. Don't get discouraged by it. You're gonna fail. You're gonna yeah. fail. If you really love it, you're gonna understand. You're gonna fail. Mm -hmm. You're gonna learn. You're gonna grow from it. It's basically attacking the same goal. A million times, think of how many different out outlets you can get on it and talk. You know, you get better. What are some of your long term goals? Is there like an industry you want to get in? Whether it's acting, shooting films, franchise owner, is there something that yeah, you. Yeah, I want to like uh, open up a, an organic, like a juice spot. Saying. All right, all right, all right, all right. For juicing, yeah, I like, I, I like to, I'll be fasting and, and just drinking different, sh like, uh, basically blending down my own fruits or in the juicer. You know what I'm saying? Like, just really eating healthy and being more conscious. What shit. that brought on? What? How that? How did you? How did that come about to you? As just, far as uh, the more natural lifestyle. Just getting sick, seeing my 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 immune system, my energy, my my, just like I said, dealing with depression. You know what I'm saying? I had to change something because I wasn't happy with waking up every day and not having it or not like just being in a negative mind state you know what i mean and that she really got to work on it a lot of people suffer from that and that's gonna keep you from 
accomplishing your goals and that's gonna affect how you raise your kids that's gonna affect how the relationship you have with everyone in your family you feel me everyone around you so if you're trying to conduct with that type of negative mentality it's not gonna it's not you're not gonna have a positive outcome you're not gonna be as successful as you can be you know say you're succeeding imagine how much more successful you could be with a healthy body and a mind it's just so much negatives promoted out there everybody want to be turned up everybody want to be on drugs and i'm not even being a hypocrite because i was been yeah i've been there but it's just like motherfuckers is stuck it ain't when the camera goes off it ain't like all these rappers is making with the music videos and all this bullshit you know what i'm saying motherfuckers is really suffering out there from addiction depression motherfuckers really dealing with real pain and they don't know how to get it out you feel me so Shout out to everybody dealing with some shit. Hope you find a way. You feel me? That's all it is. We lost, lost a lot of rappers that way too from yeah, drugs yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah, you're right. Pills well, and all. We also but, lost a lot of rappers too. And that's and that's and that's the shit that really what motivated me too is 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 the message I'm gonna be sending my kids and everybody coming up too. You feel me? Like that's what I, that's what gets me mad about rappers. They ain't living the life they're talking about. And they really influencing these kids to do this shit and go throw their lives away. That's it. It's right. not really nothing yeah. else. Like, you ain't never even been through the shit you're talking about. Because it ain't that cool. It ain't as cool as you making it sound, homie. Well, well it's, like, it's like you were saying. The people who, who, who glamorize the pen usually never even been to the pen. And those just, of us who've been to the pen, we're like, man, we, don't, we want to be far as fuck from it. Yeah, that's why, that's why to me, like, I, I, I came out, like, when I dropped LA County Blues and I dropped uh, Voice for the Voiceless, it ain't on some, mode, it ain't on some promoting negative shit. It's really exposing what the fucking shit leads to, you know what I'm saying, and all the heartache and everything else that come with it. Then all the disloyalty, all the backstabbing, all the motherfucking lawyer fees, everything that comes with it, all the family time loss, losing people while you locked up, like, everything that comes with it, bro. They don't, they don't glorify and, and glamorize that shit, you feel me? They just popping the ops or doing whatever the fuck it is they doing. But they ain't telling you about your homie that gonna snitch on you. They ain't telling you about, man, bro, it's out. It's out. Gangbang is dead. That's why I dropped them shirts, too. I dropped, I was, I was gonna drop a project called Gangbang is Dead. It roughed a lot of people's feathers. Yeah, I remember that. I remember it, 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 that. It ruffled a lot of people's feathers, bro. And it did, then they're it like, did. oh, they're like, what do you mean, gangbanging is dead? I'm like, look, my boy, what is gangbanging to you? Because yeah, basically, okay. there's no fucking code. Like, all the PCs are like 90%. They taking over, bro. Like, they, yeah. they took over the prisons. They're higher than general population. So, what's what's not dead? I was just on the prison yard. So, what are you talking about? There's more drop Yeah, shout outs to the, all the homies doing fucking life and level fours in the 180s, bro. But those are the only solid yards, really. Yeah. You know what I mean? Some threes. You feel me? But it's like, there's more, like, bad than there is good. There, and that's what you want to teach the kids to go and jump into? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, start a business. Go to school, bro. Find something you love. There's no, there's no guidance. There's no guidance on the Chicano side. At least for yeah, yeah, there's no guidance. Cause everybody gotta be the hardest. Everybody, yeah, that's the ego. Exactly. That that that's why we can't prosper. You know what I'm saying? Cause if you got all these people in position to change people's lives, that ain't never lived that shit. So when people that are coming up that really live that life, they don't wanna give them the opportunity because they understand with that little foot, they gonna outshine you, bro, because they really living that shit. So when they spin that shit, people are really gonna feel that shit. It's different when you fabricating that shit, you know what I'm saying?